Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be working on this chameleon of a vehicle. It's a 2021 Jeep Gladiator that has the looks of a regular Jeep up front, but can also take care of business in the back, and it's filthy. Now, the story with this vehicle is that the owner of it is constantly letting friends, family, and other people in her community borrow it so it gets around. And in doing so, it's gotten very dirty, especially inside where I'm willing to bet it hasn't been cleaned once since it was bought new two years ago. The seats are gross and there's sticky goo in a number of spots. So sit back, relax and enjoy while I make it look new again. Okay, while I start blasting the dirt off this Gladiator, you'll notice that it doesn't seem to be too stuck on, and that's likely because it has been washed sometime in, I'd say, the last month or so. The amount of dirt on here can easily accumulate in a couple of days driving around on wet streets, which we've had a fair bit recently as winter has been unseasonably warm so far. Spraying out the box now, and I'm not sure what the payload specs are for this Jeep, but I do think it's pretty cool the Jeep is making these again. Now obviously these things aren't as rugged as a full size half ton truck, but can still offer a fair bit of utility, and honestly I'm all for seeing more unique vehicles like this on the road. Now just in case any of you out there are scrambling to try to find a Christmas gift for someone, well I've got you covered. From now until Christmas, you can get a Detail Geek Auto Care gift card and a 10% discount code that you can gift along with it or even keep it for yourself. So head on over to DetailGeekAutoCare.com and cross those last minute gifts off your list.
Okay, while I handle washing and drying the Gladiator, I wanted to let you know that the fourth annual Detail Geek Awards video is coming next week. For those of you who haven't seen one before, it's a fun little video where I recap some of the most memorable details of the year. Basically, I give out awards in a whole bunch of made-up categories, and based on how well-viewed the last three have been, I'm sure you guys will enjoy it, so be sure to watch it next Tuesday the 26th. starting inside the Jeep now, and you'll notice that I didn't remove the seats today, and that's because it really wasn't necessary. Pulling the seats is always a decision that's made based on how easy it's going to be to clean underneath them. If there isn't much clearance and I need to use the extractor under them, then they're coming out. Or conversely, like in the case of this Jeep, there's good clearance underneath and the extractor will fit. Basically, if I'll be able to clean up to my standards and reach everywhere I need to with them in the vehicle, then they'll stay. Now while I continue vacuuming, I wanted to remind you guys about the grossest vehicle I ever detailed from just a couple weeks ago. That vehicle was a 1967 Ford Mustang that sat in a barn for the last 20 years before being sold to a guy who plans to restore it. The only problem was that hundreds of mice had called the Mustang home over the years and between the mouse nests, turds and live mice in the car, it was a detail I won't ever forget and so was the owner's reaction as it was easily the best one I've ever had so make sure you check that video out.
Okay guys, it's time to get to work on these dirty seats, which I'll of course follow the usual process of solution, agitate and extract, but because there's a few spots that remain after making the first few passes, I'll have to come back to them when I've got the steamer out in a little bit, as sometimes the steam is able to loosen up stubborn stains and upholstery, so it's nice to have that as an option when extracting alone doesn't quite cut it. As I get to work on the carpets, you'll notice they really aren't all that dirty since the rubber floor mats took most of the beating over the last couple of years, which really goes to show how critical it is to have rubber floor mats in your vehicle if you want to keep the carpets looking as new as possible. Here's the half bucket of nasty water pulled from the Gladiator today. Absolutely disgusting. Now as I work on steaming all the plastic around the interior, I wanted to quickly remind you guys that I've recently started another YouTube channel called The Yard Geek, where I'm documenting the development of my acreage, just like I did with the Studio Build series, so if you enjoyed seeing that last year, then be sure to check out the channel. There's already a few videos up that you can binge, and lots more coming soon. Okay, well to really make this blue paint pop, I'm going to use my ceramic spray coating here, 
And what I love most about this stuff is that it's super easy to apply and remove and won't leave any streaks behind, unlike some other ceramic sprays on the market. Second last step before taking a look at how good this Gladiator looks is to dress and UV protect all the black exterior plastic and there was a lot of it. All right, well, it took nine hours to get this Jeep Gladiator looking fresh and brand new again. And I don't know about you guys, but I honestly don't mind the look of these things. And really, it's kind of nice to see unique vehicles out on the road. And the blue color on this, well, it really pops. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check out the new channel, The Yard Geek, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.